Testing. Okay, we have audio. Hello, my friends, Capivara and Stin. How are you doing? Uh, let me say that we are live. We are live. Let me also say that on Saga Wiki. Are live for the update. You're here. Are you already pulling? <laughs> 9,000 for gems? Adventures ahead. Star friends assemble. What does that mean? Is this a celebration for the Emerald Beyond game? What's up? Remember, Capu, for who we want. <laughs> but you know what I'm going to say. Pull for Ellen, you mean? I didn't pull yet. Hello, IMBM. Hi, chat. Don't sleep on axes. I already pulled three axes styles. I can skip safely. Oh, giving some nice items as well. They don't really talk much about what this 9000 for gents are coming from. Star friend, great exploration key. Seems like it's just related to this new banner. That's it. Never skip Ellen. I have some Ellen's. Treasure key ticket. What does this have? Or rather, if I don't get Ellen, it might be time to quit. Ah, you get enough gens to pity her if you need to. Even if it's free gens only. How are you all doing, my friends? Doing fine. Jason's also here because he's a Katarina fan. We have an Ellen fan, a Katarina fan. We also have a Julian fan. Let's see if he comes. If Dog comes, he's a Thomas fan. I think there is a Sarah fan. No Monica fans. Relaxing after work. Already. Nice. No class. I can just relax. You already started working? I thought it was not yet. Ah, let me see if the chat box... Oh, it was disabled. It's working now. Extra 9,000 over 30 days. Not bad. Yes! And I believe they will give us even more later. You Piper says, I am a romancing saga tree fan. Oh, are you? Did this shopping just restart? Refresh? I don't know how to say. It didn't. It didn't this time. All the addresses. Gasp! 4.2... Thousand of those 9,000 jewels will help me try for Sarah. So that you have a uh, pity. New area unlock it on main story. I will not pull till we have at least 50 people watching. I can only do three mooches. I don't know if that would be <laughs> a good idea anyway. I'll only do the book storyline and side quests tomorrow. Because it's too long, right? But we can talk about everything in the meanwhile. Doc got a Katarina? Is that a mo one mooch only? That's nice. Hope you are have a good luck this time, guys. There's definitely a fake Khalid fan on my screen right now. Oh, a Khalid fan is also here. Does he? Socrates is... What exactly? Oh, this guy here, John. We already have him. Healing Blade. It's word draw. Nothing really useful. Why are you the most fan of Socrates? IMBM says 9,000 for login plus 3,000 for missions and book. Book will give us around 6,000, so 18,000 just from this. Amazing. Three, five trainee squad. <laughs> we don't need farmers anymore, guys. Harji will farm for us forever. Socrates needs to get Julian. That's the one you want the most right now, right? You also had Mask or not? A revenge counter. Scratching myself, I don't know why. I feel like there are some bugs today in Brazil. 
The temperature uh, increases and bugs appear. Um, the one with lower number of fans is Monica? Sarah? The Monica fan. Yes, Noah could not get masked when you... That's why you want Julian. They are similar but different. It's like Julian. So you are the... We have more Julian fans. Other Julian fan was the original... Uh, community manager from Square Enix. Lace, she was a big Julian fan. Danny is a Kazinsi fan. Kazinsi is not romancing Saga Tree. Need someone uh, to be a fan of Daryl. I think there is one uh, person that comes to the live streams that says that he's a Sarah fan, but I don't know if it's the top character from Romancing Saga 3 for this person specifically. I'm loving there's too many Romancing Saga 3 fans. I feel like the Romancing Saga 3 is the most standard Romancing Saga game. Saga M at all, even. Means Trail is a little harder. Saga Frontier 1 and Romancing Saga 3 are the most uh, easy to play. Scarlet Grace is still hard. Very hard. We're looking at him. Who? Ah, considering that this is a game that was that the West didn't get until like 20, 2019. Yes, Monster Saga 3 only had a English translation from the fans. I don't even know if it was a complete translation or partial. I remember, there was a partial translation. Played it back in like 2001. Whoa. Marvin, welcome. I'm gonna try for Ellen. I already have too many sword units. Oh, nice. So you have a goal. I see. I just want Katarina. We'll probably drop as soon as I get her. Let's we'll see if we can get her in three mooches. Sometimes I have luck uh, with two mooches. Let's get some gems. Hey. You got your Allen already seen? What about you, Dozzy? Only at 50 viewers or 60? 50 is nice. Still not pulling yet. I see. Uh, can we increase the adventure rank again? Yes, we can. 500 gens. Lock. Ah, no, 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 this is based on player rank. Adventure rank, it's just that extra gents. Bonus drops. Got everyone on Katarina Banner 12 Moochies. You had enough for 12 Moochies? Amazing. You pitch at Creator. Oh, yes, you love the Creator and Apollo and all of those. That's great, Copy. Not a sign of bad luck. Oh, this popper says, yeah, yeah, Banner, I didn't have to go to pity for only 10 mooches for Ellen and Sarah. Well, that's nice. Congratulations. Mumu says, 13 mooches for me to clear. Oh, well. Still not a pity. Just one more mooch in copy. Uh... You got the whole banner? What was the last one? Cage? We are attacking a cage now? You got cat and dip it. How many pulls then? One? A leading Katarina in six and then Alan in two. That's good. That's really good, Rasmus. A leading cat in four. We're continuing for Monica. I don't feel so. 
Starlight Orbit. I would totally wait for more characters to appear. Two, that's nice. Since I'm glad you're here because there was two banners this year where I was on staff 14 and missed it. No mama in your account. Two banners. Uh, Mumu says, I would have stopped it if I got cat. The last one to drop, huh? x Rage says, hey, I'm not really up to date right now. What are the ch units we're chasing? Uh, Katarina only. Uh, what else drops from her banner is just a plus. If you are thinking about meta, you can make usage of all of them somehow. But the only really staying unit is Katarina. Charis bullying occasion. Yeah, and armor Bew. We have 3,000 gens. Only 3,000 because we pitched creator. Let's see if Ellen loves. Oh, good luck, my friend. Hard your ruins your cycle. So you have to record a cycle. Just keep restarting. Or bring Hilder version of him to train and skill. Thirty-eight people watching. Getting close to that. Nothing else besides this point. Yeah, stopped here? There's something strange. Any mirror fans in the chat? <laughs> mirror. Oh, there's a new stage here. Guess I gotta put out the wallet for Kali tomorrow. Uh, did you pull and got something at least? Two hundred gents. I think it stopped here. Yes, it stopped here. Can we get enough for at least four mooches? I don't think so. Let's get those. Whoa, two thousand runs. Six thousand gems, no dragon. Super key. You didn't say that you had three thousand. How did you do it? Uh, rank fifty-five. Ah, from login. Ah, Julian. At least you got something to play with. This guy was not fully maxed, but his HP is 30. Ah, because of the updates. What's the top HP right now, guys? 3060? Oh, don't tell me it's 3060. It increases by just 20 points. Ellen. Whoa, that's nice. Congrats without having to spend. You're a beloved character, my friend. Congratulations. You have the collection. 90 pools without anything, and then I got Monica and Katarina on the pool number 100, saving for Halloween now. That's a good idea, Enzo. I got a lot of rewards. That's a good idea. Before a new banner or a new request comes, train units, and then you get lots of resources. 
Like, we've been training for some time. Oh gosh, even the expedition update the HP cap. It always updates. Helen's her min. <laughs> Make Cher into a believer. A believer of what? Oh, not like that. Much more objective. I even left the media along the way. Even in media. Had to be dropped. That's life. Yes. 40 people watching. But hey, I only have... Mm, thought I would get some materials for the new book, but I didn't get. But we can see the shop, right? Do we have another 1,000 gems on the shop? Or something? Ah, those keys. What about this treasure chest? Ah, this gives the, the item drops. Up to May. 7th of May. So you can grind? But we have 12 keys. Maybe this is not grindable. Can we get those keys? As a drop. Very said we don't... Loved and heroes. <laughs> I can already get 1000 gens here. I'll be able to do four mochis in a few. Aha! A nerf spear! Can we upgrade it? Promotion certificate. I want to get some of these to see if I can get the new weapon already. Is major major, not a major. Morning, lazy grinding. Lazy grinding. You sh you are playing the right game. <laughs> now you don't need to grind too much. This mayor is okay for remembrance for those that don't have better options, but good he's not. Let's get the weapon, let's get the weapon, whoa, let's get the weapon. I never got it on start, and I didn't get it again. Uh... X. Elise's X is not elemental. It does have five points of intelligence too. Because Ellen is a debuffer. Is that right? Still better than the other X that has element. You pull. No, no, I haven't pulled it yet, David. I'm grinding a little bit of gems. So I can do four mooches. Mmm. Extra celestial crystals. Gathered. Let's upgrade some of the status of my most useful styles. If they can increase that further. Holy booty shorts, cat. Now I see why you want her. What do you mean? Holy boots? What are you talking about? You're talking about the visuals? No, I don't care about the visuals. I think just with this run, I can get the remaining gens. Because they give you 300. 
we have 39 people. The number decreased, but I guess it's okay. I can go pull. Four ultis. Just doing one run gives you gems. He only cares about visions if they are dragons or robots. And even those I had to skip sometimes. Mm, I don't think I have enough. Algy, I'm getting so many Thomas just like old times. Ah, where are you missing Thomas? Oh no, man. Sorry to hear that. I will use a Global X Cat art. It's been a while. You can. I don't use uh, different arts to not uh, make it a little confusing for some people. Because it can get confusing if you're using different art. Who we'll ask? What's this character? What's this other? Grind to level 10, it's like, I don't know, 15 runs. Eating, of course, share. Yeah. In a code logic machine is widely known. Yes, I am a logic machine. I have to. When I say something about a character that I love, I am honest about. Like when I pulled it for a version of Kaiser that I knew it was not good. And I had to pity even. Oh no, it could have 45,000 more gens. Guys, I will be doing some ads. Just a few. So that you can please forgive me. I will remove the, the game for just the ads so while we can chat about stuff. Just so I have four moochies. Good luck in your ads. <laughs> just to get some gens. Just a little bit. It will be faster than uh, I'm watching already. Grinding lots of the stages. Ah, it didn't crash right on start. It crashes a lot. Good logic, except when it comes to Alkaiser. I feel like the Alkaiser is the only one that I defended sometimes. At least the newest version of Alkaiser is good. Alkaiser Redemption. <laughs> Emilio left, but Alkaiser stayed. First ad, watch it. Now we have five more. Is it really faster than grinding a little more? I don't know. Four mooches, guys. What will be the first one? I bet I'll get Khalid this time as the first pool. And then Katarina. We'll only have those two. That's what I think. Katarina will be on pool number four. And Khalid on pool number two or something. But I wish he drops on the first pool. So I can totally stop. You got everyone but Khalid? Really? Do you have to pity him? How many pools so far? Especially the character that you love the most. I said I got Monica and then a lot of Mikaeus. Mm, people have Mikaeus for grind. But now you don't need to grind anymore. It's just about Harji grinding for you all day, all day. I got a, a patience ad. Cards game. People still play this? Of course they do. Simple games. Will be played up forever. And they play uh, in the wrong way, just so that you feel like, oh, I could do better. I could do better. Six thousands. Whoa, six thousand gems or six thousand medals? Hey, Kevin Hunt, you did something. Thank you so much for your help, my friend. Thanks, Sheriff, for all you do, sending some support. It's all that we can afford right now. Good luck with everyone's pool. No worries, my friend. Actually, thank you so much. Everything helps, and you just did a very big help. Let's send some thanks, virtual hugs, and emojis to our friend, Kevin. 
Hope you have some good luck as well, Kevin. Thank you so much. It is really appreciated. 6,000 medals or gems for everyone, but Khalid is really good. I would stop. Yes, I would stop. But it is Dozzy Beer we're talking about. He's like Khalid fan number one. So he's going to start us to keep pulling. You are so welcome. Thank you, man. He's trying to do my best. Battle's definitely getting Khalid, though. Yeah, he has to. To keep the, the, the Mimi running. Just two more ads, I guess. And having to rely on ads to do four mooches. But you're only going to pull tomorrow, or is it today, Dozzy? Now these ads are getting smarter. They say uh, reward sent, but it's not really sent yet. And if you click, you're going to open a tab with Google Play and the app so that you can install. At least they cannot install it automatically. Imagine, they will evolve. You can just love the character. You can, but you have to pay the price. <laughs> when you love a character, he always goes to pity. Two more ads only. So oh, now I got a Christian game. Bible World. Bible, actually. Bible. It's because in Portuguese it's Biblia, so it's not by, it's B. 35 mutus to clear. Yuck. Oh, sorry to hear that, Neil. So you had to uh, over pity. Both banners or just one? What was the bad uh, the bad banner among the two? The Thomas banner, Alan banner, right? Last ad. But you got it all. Now it's a puzzle game. Peach it Allen, then over Peach it for Cat. Cat was the last one. It was not even on Thomas Banner. Apple lets you spend money you don't have for one transaction, so I couldn't help myself, but I'll pay it back tomorrow. Um, Apple allows you to do that? That's interesting. I didn't know. Aha, I got 50 gents in one ad. Back into the game. We have enough now? I still don't have enough, don't tell me. I am lacking 80, 85 gens. How can I get those? Not 85 anymore. 55. Didn't I send an expedition? Now I did. Me by leveling up my mayor. <laughs> ah, yeah, leveling up mayor gives me 50, but I'll still miss. I don't know, 5 gens? I'll be using the 5 bait. Whatever. What can you do with 5 bait anyway? Ah, Julian is also 50 now. How about leveling up a stage? That will require like 50 runs. Or I should have let it running on background. While I was watching the ads. Dump me. Yum. Two characters to 50 would not give me enough. One already gives me something. What about level 30? Maybe level 30 with two characters gives me something. If that gives me something, I can do the pulls. No, I need to level four characters to 30. One player rank. Ah, 
It's just five pigeons. What is five pigeons? What can you do with that? Bakali Muchi seven. I'll go try. But I will also have that uh, uh, terrible number. Why do I have five in the end? I don't know about. Well, let's do some pools. Let's go, guys. Wish me luck. We start pulling, and I only want Katarina. Let's start. When I see at least three good lucks, I'll start pulling. Thanks, Mumu. Thanks, Kills Piper. And NBM. Copy. Tepuin. Razma. Does he? Let us go. A lead for me? No, 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 no. Give me a green dragon. Mako? That's a very bad start. I really don't like when Mako starts. Thanks everyone for the good wishes. Sometimes I have luck in the sack on multiple. But you know, Mako can also give me something. Sometimes. Oh no, I didn't get any dragons in your pools. Sorry. You say me, Thomas, jump between banners and gift you with his presence. <laughs> Only as an A-style. <laughs> If I got catch early, should I stop? I believe you should. We will be doing the second Muchi that will have a dragon. Mm, we can still get a breakout, right? Welcome, my ninth stamina. That's not a blackout. This is just a normal pool. You're late. I'm starting to pull right now, 99. I will be able to do four Muchis, but so far, nothing. I'll do the third. Doesn't look good. Really doesn't look good. He mooches in nothing. And a Katarina for me. It feels like the same pool again. 35,000 gems to get six styles, but no cat and no Alan. No. Looks like your pools. Oh my god. What are we doing to the game? To get so bad luck. I will do 100 pools and try to see if I am unlucky. That's not unlucky. It kind of is. Kind of is very bad luck. You're happy for both Khalid and Julian. Nice. You're gonna use then. I'm sure. Now, Katarina. Come home, please. I only have one more Amuchi. Uh, luck plant gave me something in the past. No kick. Extremely bad luck, guys. Extremely bad. Arm, which is in nothing. I'm sad. What do we get in these days? Not having very good luck recently. What can you do? Now you have to unlock stages. You had good luck with hard, you can have it every time. Yeah, it was six mooches. Not exactly good luck, but not that terrible either. Can you cheat the game and do something like, for example, go to sleep and... Let's see if they are selling this Star Friend Record Stamp. I don't think they are, but let's see. Only the next event will sell this, right? Yeah. 
Yes, I guess. Still have to man all level then. Send you one of those Mikaels and Monica dupes you got. Even the one that Thomas maybe. Oh. Seems like the game knows what you want all the time. Target stage level 10. Uh, I should also increase the experience rank. Game knows your behavior, right? Hey, get over. Welcome. Are you pulling, friend? Yes, I did four, which has got zero. What about you? Zero stuff. Amazing. Just missed it, yes. Eeks, I got everyone but Thomas in 10 mooches between both banners. 10 mooches? That's extremely lucky. Who are you pulling for? Katarina only. If I get something else, it would be nice, but I really don't care much. What about you? The five moves is extremely lucky, but six is okay. No, but he said everyone but Thomas, I believe, in, in both banners. Five mooches in two banners, it's like he got nine. Nine styles in... Ten. Uh... Six is okay. Was it really six or seven? I'm still in doubt about Harden. Yeah, you were right. I was lucky with Harden, but I was unlucky with the other banner before Harden. Darius, I had to PT Darius. I really don't like Ali changes the Sandstorm effect. Legs were formed. Oh my. Get over says I avoided the one unit. It didn't want. To. Glad I didn't get Thomas. I didn't want him. Marvin got Allen after one single. Whoa. Should have done like two mooches, ten singles, and one mooch. Doing singles usually helps me. I didn't pinch it, Darius. I have bad memory. What happened? Ah! I didn't pitch it, Darius, because it was on full 14. Ah. Uh, yeah. Very close. Well, after hearing those results, I feel lucky now. Now seeing that new flux must be tilted. But n always remember that lucky people are loud. Unlucky people are usually silent. So we always have lots of unlucky people. They just don't say anything. Sometimes it happens. I also had to repeat it. Two times or three times? Three times I had to repeat it. Because I wanted two characters. Starlight Orbit Season 2, Hardy Banner, I reached Peachy. Uh, on six banners in a row. Six banners. Oh, that hurts. Hope you get cat in your next Mooch, my friend. Thank you. 
One of one of those over Peach study. Yes, the first incident. <laughs> the second incident was Joe. It was even Robin Joe. It's no, it was not the origin, the the latest Joe. Robin Joe was an over PT. And then who was the other? It's kind of recent. Capivara probably ha has in memory because he remembers everything. Was someone that I got with pool number 16 or 17? So Alan is the must have, not Julian. Who said that? Not even. Not a single one of them. Must have is a very strong word, my friend. Tatiana? Oh, oh yeah, it was Tatiana. I think it was Tatiana, you were right. You have good memory. I don't have good memory. I have to level all other skills. Uh, it's two cycles. Starlight Orbis says, I saw a big streamer on JP who went over PT two times for Real Queen and Real Queen Joe. Hmm? Happens. Or was it Nian or Anya? No. It was probably Tatiana. I didn't over PT Nian or Anya. Nose must have skip. What do you mean, sock? Guys, don't forget that this Julian is able to cover. <laughs> Over mechanic in this game is really whatever. Sorry to say that 99 stamina, but over mechanic in this game is really whatever. It's just cool to see the character jumping and all, but it's not useful as you think. I think you like the, the, the mechanic. It's. I remember the first Julian when he came out. Everyone was seeing about the cover mechanic, and I said, I, I tried to understand, even try to explain how cover worked, but in all reality, never really make any impact. Never. Cover is good for him, at least gives him another stack of counter. Yeah, but <laughs> if he's not doubting well, something's not working. It's just an extra chance of being the target, right? But as a whole, if someone dies, it's over. You attack, you cover someone. Single target attack, you cover someone. Well, it should have very low chance of someone else being attacked anyway. So there is this problem. You laugh because I never played it with the legendary no. Still beat it all content. I may sound harsh on you, but... Uh, I mean, I wanted to have them though. But what I mean is exactly like that. It's not needed. It's a mechanic that... It's kind of redundant most of the time. Covered in counter is OP. Right now you are countering the counter. The boss can counter the counter. Got someone super early and went to PT. Yes. I didn't even... Uh... Got Summer Roulette, did I pull it any? I own pool 11, I guess, or 12. And I said, no, I don't want Roulette that much. No one's necessary, just keep it and save for you. We can as well. But there are some interesting pieces, but I mean, for a strategy standpoint, I don't think cover was ever important. Is Mickey worth it? No. Do you like to grind that much in tomorrow? Should have waited for 50 people. Maybe I had more luck. I'm just so happy when I saw Sarah on your first Muchi on Julian Banner. If only to see it was an off Banner and Sarah. <laughs> 60D hit. G, he did that. What did I do? I pitched it to 60, I guess. Yes, because I wanted. To get White Rose or Asylus and they drop it on pool 12 or something. And I said, ah, just one more, two or three more pools. I want to do 60. And then I pull it. I mean, I pitch it. Just so happy when I saw it. Okay, cover was bigger in GP. We started out stronger when it came to global. Maybe. I remember people saying that uh, there was a fight with Princess Lion. Yeah. It was just a standard attacks. Battle with Princess Lion. 
And I remember people sharing a video of Julian hovering. They say like, whoa, we're gonna do that with Julian. And then I think I made three videos with different characters killing that the Princess Lion. I used a Julian as well because I got him. But to never again even care about that cover utility. Because you we only had Tiger Shark up to that point. I don't think we had Rising Phoenix EX. No, no, of course we didn't have the EX version. But I don't remember we having the base Rising Phoenix. So we used a Tiger Shark. It was Princess Lion. And Julian was useful. I remember beating it with Mayor. <laughs> Mayor could beat the same challenge where people try to sell cover Julian. Mayor. I miss the days when we could use Mayor as our tank. I miss the days. Skip Elise and beat in most all continents except for Firebringer. <laughs> you did. You probably suffered. Did you beat it on release? That can also be a good question. Sometimes you can still beat stuff like when I didn't have my Aspergal as well. I would beat stuff, but I would have to restart more often. Like, people could defeat that boss in first try. I had to restart three to four times at least, because I didn't have Asper. And she was a busted character. Is a busted character. Mask finally was meta for his cover, so I don't really agree. And it was never because of the cover. It was always because of the taunt. Mask was meta because he could taunt and change the chance of being attacked to very, very high standards. It was the first character that could uh, have three taunts on the same attack. Three taunts. There's barely any uh, chances of someone else besides Mask being attacked if you are using him correctly. And if someone else is attacked, then you have 37% chance. I think with Mask is 25% chance. Mask has a lower chance. Of covering. So, it was never because of the cover. It was always because of the taunt. At least that's what I believe. Yeah, it's only Kazinsi took in more time. Beating him today. I see. But for Kazinsi, I had two different things. One with laser, one with doubt. Cover tanks just reduce the odds of your main units getting snippet. Yeah. But I remember someone saying that it, uh, the cover in wait it is this slash in Final Fantasy Brave Axis is different. A character can cover a full AOE attack. Is that right? See, you understand uh, Final Fantasy Brave Axis, right? Is that true? Because I heard in FFB you can use a cover tank and he takes the full damage of an AOE. I remember that the, I think Sadis, Sadis, Salis from Final Fantasy VI, she has a runic blade where the enemy uses a, a skill and she just eats the skill. It's a spell, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's a spell. She eats the whole spell. Not really a cover, but it's similar. Uh, Silver really Light Mirrors are changing global like crazy. Yes, but did we have Silver really Light Mirrors back when Princess Light was released? Is a boss. Cover, okay. Global is easy mode compared compared to you, but they say that they make some challenges harder in global because of the tools we have. So it's a way to make it work. Should actually aim for a number. Well, uh, let's just run the normal way. Is it Julian Banner skippable? Of course. I nine stamina defeated Firebringer with only last rock to the buff. You mean rock with an ass's word? How many times did you have to restart? She was the only debuffer. Who was the buff breaker? You didn't have buff breaker? Firebringer? Casey says, hope you get caught Katarina soon. Thank you. Parker says, I hard disagree. Considering I cleared suddenly, do it to him. 
Saruin. You may clear Saruin because of him, but my, my, my testament here was that Mask didn't need cover to be meta. Mask, Eka, aka the Hammer style was very good for protecting Leon in the meta we use it to use it. Never was for me. So I'm not alone to love the cover skill. Maybe we're not alone. Anyone here remembers Mask covering Leon as a Ovital moment? It was never for me. You don't have units like Leon where we need to cuddle that hard. Mask had cover saving my butt a lot of times. I remember very well that I beat the egg just because he covered my damage dealer at the final moments of the fight. He was so epic. RNG can always lead to this type of uh, moment, right? It's like that epic moment as well where you have an Esper Gao and she changes a second time with Psychic Hunt. And that is enough to save you from damage. Neo Flux says a bossy personality in story is rather unexpected. Oh, really? Melis Shadow says I got all of them in one paint pool. All of them? You mean four styles? That's insane. Congratulations. Saruin Wasteland's fight was beatable only because of masks for you. I understand, not saying that it was not because of mass, but I really doubt that a 25% chance to protect someone was the key to winning. The mask for me was always about healing every two turns, or the third turn, and the taunt. The taunt was amazing. First time we managed to have three taunt effects in one turn. Yeah, and he stunned us for four turns, so there was one turn where he sometimes had two stacks of that great adventure. I remember using Tiger Shark, but then Rising Phoenix. I literally have clears with Mask. I'm not saying that you didn't clear with Mask. My, my thing is just that... Uh, cover was not the main point of Mask. Mask over tanking makes units not taking one shot damage with reduces the need of you. Make units 25% of the time. Again, I'm just saying that it's not a reliable resource of the guy. With just great adventure, use it. He had like an 80 something percent chance of being hit. See, so you have just, uh, I don't know. Let's create a imaginary number. A 15% chance of someone else being attacked in the party. In, inside that 15% chance of someone else being attacked, you had a 25% chance of that cover helping. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you only had 25% chance to cover. That hardly makes that much difference as you think. You got the dragon, but it was Juden. Ah, that's still nice. Where should I achieve it in, in two attempts? My strategy was to nuke Firebringer on turn 6 4 2 to avoid his shenanigans. But you didn't have buff break. This is what I'm asking. Well, who was buff breaking for you on Firebringer? Because it's impossible to do it without buff break. You had a debuffer and a buff breaker, no? Rasmus said Global starting with Sophia was a huge deal too. JP didn't have a useful healer for a while. They had to get her from a tower ticket, right? That was crazy. Not everyone had Chef Polka. I remember, I, I also cleared the same challenge twice, many times in my videos. One with Polka and one with Mask. Uh, I inherited Gobby Spark on her and only the buff intelligence. Told you that is hard to get her. And, ah, but you have buff break because of Gobby Spark. But the agility didn't get insane. Because Firebringer gets to such a high agility that you will miss the attack. Gobby Spark only removes intelligence buffs. That's crazy. Maybe the status are very high now. I remember that my uh, squad was missing on Firebringer after 
I didn't buff break him for three turns. And I'm meaning buff break agility too. It was enough to keep units from getting sneak. Yeah, I had the cover more consistently in proc though. Okay, so 25% chance to evade is not that good then. No, I'm saying that when you are in a fight using mask and you use a great adventure, uh, then you have, depending on the formation, right? If you are on the Rising Phoenix formation, your mask already has an 80 something percent chance of being hit. Like I said, it may be like 85% chance. I don't know the math. So there's just 15% chance of someone else being hit, and inside that 15%, you have 25% chance of mass covering. And that uh, specific calculation, I don't think that mask make, uh, cover is that important. Remember that there's a lot of random attacks that ignore... Uh, that's a good point now. All random attacks ignore town. And the cover will help in that situation, because the cover will trigger on random attacks. Uh, Azra boss had many random attacks. Anything at 25% chance of all is not good. No, that's that's you're not getting what I'm saying. It's just that 25% of 15% is not good. 25% <laughs> overall is good. In this game, it is, but 25% inside 15 is not good. All status down removes the buffs. What do you mean all status down, Chaos Piper? Okay, 25% for each attack. Not nice when you want Ellen. Ah, you mean because uh, you got the other character, right? Julian. Yes, yeah, so I got Ellen and Sarah and 10 Luchis, so you are happy. Ellen and Sarah, but only those two and 10 Luchis. You want Alan as well, does he? Polydora says, On the third, Muchi a Dragon decided to deserve it to have Sarah. You guys are having so much luck, and I barely get anything. Mm, yes, yeah, Sokka. Great Adventures was great and made Mask more tanking and helpful, but I had fights where the backline gets targeted and Max protected against. I, I, I felt more like it was kind of a good thing that happened, but. I could never think about this as the main strategy. It's much more about the situational mechanic of this game. If you had, for example, in this case, a uh, big chance of the back row being attacked, it's like, I don't know, if the back row is attacked, this character always protects. Stuff like that. There are games that have this type of mechanic. Like uh, a character that protects the back row. I remember, I think Brawn Dust has something like that. A character that you place in the middle always protects the back row, unless it's an indirect attack. Direct attack. There was some type of rules like that. But uh, since Mask already changes the, the chance of being attacked so much, that's usually the best approach. Unless, uh, like uh, New Flux said, that there's random attacks, and random attacks ignores target. So a cover is nice. Uh, Julian covers 37%, right? That That's a little better. Uh, there's even someone that has a 50% cover now. Who was it? Asilus. But she has to use the skill, I don't remember. Yeah, Asilus has a 50% chance to cover. It's not just her, there's another character that has a high cover chance. Don't remember. Was no 37 or 50. Let me check. Oh, has 50%. 50%. 50 percent is big. Uh, at this case, it's something that uh, it's a little different. Like, for example, uh, I remember that there was a character in the game that was a reverse type of uh, cover. 
that guy was Rin. You probably love Rin Sock. I don't know if you were playing back then. But he was designed in a way that a cover would make more sense. He had stealth. So he didn't want to be attacked precisely. He didn't want to draw attack. He was actually well designed. It's just that the content didn't move towards this type of design. So he has stealth. But he had a very high cover chance. Why does that make sense? Because he doesn't want the game to select him as a target. He wants the game to still select the unprotected people. And then he would jump and protect. See how that makes sense? Because he's not taunting. He allows people to be hit just to jump in the front of them. Mask has the problem of he already draws too much attacks towards himself that the other people are not targeted. Understand? So, Ren's design was actually interesting. I don't know if there's other characters like that that has stealth and then cover. Darius has super si guardian. Oh, super guardian, yeah. It's not gonna say it's not my two cents. Emergency game you play will show us eventually that both Juden and Thomas are pretty incredible. In very specific situations, of course, yes. I mean, when I'm reviewing, I have to talk about characters that will matter more like i can tell you that you can make a video of thomas winning arsenal and you will say that he was the mvp of the fight and i will agree with you he's the mvp of that fight but then after arsenal fight you have like a lot of other fights where he won't shine so my uh place as a content creator when i'm reviewing these units especially right now that all units work is to tell you the more universal units that will work in more situations. Like hard you work in all situations if you want PP and if you want decreasing direct damage. But now Thomas will work in two out of ten situations. Hard you works in six out of ten. So if you are a fan, okay to pull for these characters that work in two out of ten situations. But if you don't have gens, you will have to follow these characters that work in more situations. Or else it will come to a point where Thomas is not even good in 2 out of 10 because there will be a character that works in all just like him and it's even better. Ren could also AOE debuffs, he could. Yeah, he had an interesting design. Uh, Sokka says, I don't go into fights to rely on cover. I treat cover as a bonus mechanic that was helpful. Oh yeah, it, it is helpful, but I mean, it was not the main point of Mask. It was not because of cover that he was met. That's, that's my point on your judgment. You know that I am always honest, even if, you know, I have to disagree with someone. And that's my point of view. I believe that I should still stay like that. And I thank you for you having your opinion, because it's how we discuss. It's always healthy. Blunt damage was destroying poke and mass kits for blunt, blunt for breakfast. Yeah, I remember. I had a lot of fun using Mask for a while. A lot of fun. Many times he was better than Polk. Many times. Why is this just one enemy, right? Should, uh, wait. I, I just unlock it a new stage, no? Darius cover a lot. Darius? Ah, the other Darius. This is a single target stage with tears. Thomas is mainly useful for Megalith Dragon, but Spears are already OP. Ah, Megalith Dragon has a lot of blunt attacks. He has Shurney's Earth. It's an AoE blunt. I don't know about the other skills, but maybe he has the attacks from Wyvern. Wyvern has a lot of blunt attacks as well. It would make sense. They both come from Saga Frontier 2. Single target Pierce. I have a farmer for single target tears. You don't have one. If I don't have one, then it's all about Leon. Don't remember having one. Last Mikhail drops. Why is the jeep one here? He 
because he's unreliable. Personally, I disagree. I would not use Mask if he didn't cover. You will have your opinion on this, and I will have mine. I mean, who else agrees with me or who else agrees with Socrates? And D had a similar cover like Ren. <laughs> and D has a special hidden mechanic of drawing enemy attacks. <laughs> Even in the back row, she had a personal special talent. Kills Piper says, Fire bring you doesn't buff a lot each turn, so you can remove them with an all status down, like Rock, Lightning of Darkness, Cheese. I did Fire bring your romancing without a buff breaker, and just an all status down. Uh, but Kills Piper, I kind of agree. If you were using an all status down every turn, but he said that he inherited Gobby Spark, unless he was switching between the skills, I don't know. Yeah, three turns without a status down, but even then. Our status down will not stack because he loses all debuffs by the end of the turn. But yeah, I agree with you all if you are saying that you can hit him. But there were situations where if I didn't buff break him, I would miss. Maybe it's because the status were older. I think Thomas will be good in the next two floors of Spire if I remember correctly. Ah, the enemies have taunt. Oh, blunt. Oh man, Mikael is such an incredible farmer. He already put the back, put back the biker to his garage. <laughs> but, our, but the biker has blunt and heat. No, is it heat? A lost interest in the mask debate. I see. Well, no worries. Mario Hardy has arrived with anger and with Mario as well. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. How are you doing? We will have to work today. I think Mask without the cover will feel a lot worse to remember that when he cover, he also reduces the damage even more. I see. So, so Capivara also likes the, the cover part. I really feel like it's okay, but not the main game play point of the character. That's my opinion. Don't remember the exact debate. Uh, I was uh, talking with Socrates, and Socrates was saying that Mask was better because of the cover, and he was the, his main selling point. And I was saying that he didn't have to rely on that because he already dropped the enemy attack to very high standards, like probably 80 something percent, that he only had 25% chance to cover a character that only had like 15% chance to be hit. So it was never about the cover mechanic. It was all about the taunt and charging overdrive fast because of the character being hit. Socrates uses the biker. Oh yeah, you really wanted to pull, right? I remember. Well, not missing is also easier if Stamina was using Darius in Hardy because of the all of the OD. Ah, yeah, yeah, makes sense. I'm off tonight. You only work four days a week. No, that's nice, Mario. You need to have some rest. The heat is AoE. Um, for me, I need to decide between keeping trying for L versus wait for Peony, debating over who you want more. Mm -hmm. You will get the gems to get at least one. I've definitely had mask over AoEs that would have otherwise killed another party member, but I was never a fan of him, so never used him much. I see. I've always appreciated the cover based on the meta all the at the time, which was called a Leon meta. I mean there was always a chance of uh you know reaching that point where Leon could have died. But he probably died in another <laughs> <laughs> Before the epic moment where Matt protected him. <laughs> we always have these moments. He went overdrive. One out of two turns. This team is crazy. Pretty nice. Cover helps him get to OD faster. I wouldn't say it's his main selling point, but it definitely helps his purples. It helps. 
But like I said, it's 25% out of 15. What is 25% out of 15? If it's really 15. 15 multiplied by 25. 3.75% chance of he covering one hit. If he is on perfect taunt. Three point seventy-five. We could round up to four percent. No, no, he doesn't cover four percent. Like you know, um, let's say that all attacks on the enemy are single target. So out of all attacks, you have like fifteen percent chance of it being attack. To any of your other characters and then inside of that you have 25% so out of I don't know 25 attacks the boss will only attack once one of your characters in mask will cover Do you get it or am I messing in this too much the cover is part of the package of mask and for me personally I think he will be worse without it I don't I think Sock was saying that it was a selling. He said he said that if he didn't have cover, he would not use mask. The other issue would be predicting when in the timeline they would intend to give us the Halloween banners. I feel like they may entirely skip Halloween banners, guys. Entirely skip. Uh, they may have a special banner in another moment. But I believe that they will be skipping because they are trying to find banners that they can skip so that they can speed up. How many fights we have with no AoE? Ah, inside an AoE he will protect someone, yes. Inside an AoE it's 25% chance to cover someone that could have died from the AoE. Yeah, I'm only talking about single target. Yeah, and at this point, if you guys are feeling like the AoE cover is... Really helpful. One out of four UEs he will cover someone. But for a single target, it's really not impactful. Numbers on paper means nothing when your pools don't reflect it here. <laughs> Who is the part where the devs don't want the map to work as well as gameplay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying anything, it's just that gotcha devs are like that. How many fire? Okay, we already have the Halloween weapons. They are on the menu, but we don't have them. I wouldn't because he wouldn't be protecting my team enough. As someone who did the Wastelands fights, his cover was essential against the long form fights. I just don't remember my team's for, uh, for the Wasteland fights. I don't remember if I had him in a party. I don't think I did. I remember using poke. Bear likes mask as much as he does Mistral. No, no, I use it mask a lot. Just being objective here. It might be just a swap of banners. I don't think it's a swap of banners. You like they will skip. And may do something later to fix or allow them to be JP exclusives. Mask time, minimum of four and one more. I don't remember my squad, but I can do some digging. Wastelands. Wastelands War. Bertrand. Five. Division Strategy. You're talking about Wastelands War. The first, you're talking about the cursed one. Cursed one was easy. This long. I used an evasion strategy the first time I beat it. This. It's probably all the buffers we had with Bune. Yeah, Bune. Now all's matriarch. 
White Rose and Shendu. <laughs> Shendu Du, remember Shendu Du? Such a cool character. Wastelands. But this was one release, it was almost impossible to do with other types of squads. Yeah, I only beat the Cursed one with Evasion Squad. Then I beat it the uh, stage 5 with time. Yeah, I replace it mask with time most of the time. <laughs> with time most of the time. And Dudu was epic. Yeah, I did have time and polka. Ah. But here, my friend, is because polka clashed a little with time. And I needed two healers. I mean. Mask clashes with time. There was a better combination of time and mask. Oh, wait. Time and polka. Rag Robin. Because uh, I couldn't interchange the healings. I remember the fight with the bug that confuses in the end. Oh, yeah. Confusion right in the end. There was also Berserk. You can assume that you do a barrage on the Romance Saga 2 banners. Uh, then when... We have a anniversary. No, I didn't think they would do unless it's a global anniversary of release. Right, Pretinha? But I feel like they released many games in December, so it's hard for them to celebrate. I use the mask a lot. I think I even made a spotlight video for him. But you all are invited to disagree with me. My opinion is not supreme. Uh, I eventually did a Bertrand uh, auto setup, but it was much later. Yeah, four months later. First, I use an evasion. First, I use an evasion. And then I use it time, and then I use it auto squad. What was the auto squad? I had Chef Poke. Liz, Rock, Impress. Mask was a go-to, you got Muse. Mask got replaced mostly by Time by me. Silver. Yeah, eventually we had a way to do this on Nauta. Universe is going to be rough. Oh, it is. Just consider giving share a like, uh, it helps the channel. Oh yeah, so much. Thanks so much for seeing that scene. I don't know how many likes we have right now, but we have 42 people watching. I hope we have at least, I don't know, 20 likes. Now we have 19. You just said it was 16 and it raised it to 19. So, thanks 20. Nice. Half the number is already nice. When is anniversary again? Game anniversary is 20. I mean, it's June. Our channel anniversary is this month. Good thing you can skip upcoming banners. Use it time and mask in the same squad. I did use it, but it was, I think, a very specific situation. Specific situation, you mean Remembrance Club? Ah, Remembrance I was using all the time. <laughs> but I mean on general hard content. We didn't have many units to use. <laughs> oh man, just give me Katarina tomorrow with my two Moochies. I'll have gems for two more Moochies. Uh, just from the first clear. And then from the whole book, 
I'll have enough for two more Moochies. Then you, Katarina, who is she supposed to replace? Gerard or not? Is she replaces Gerard? She replaces Sirius in some squads? When Sirius was not buff breaking? She replaces Al Kaiser? Sometimes. She replaces Liz sometimes. I mean, it's more about you can remove one of these characters and add another. There were situations where you have to bring, for example, Anya and Liz together. Now you just bring out the new cat. That's what's gonna happen. He uh, removes one character from your party. Instead of Liz plus Gathered, for example, just bring Katarina. But you still have to check any weakness, characters that you bring. You Katarina is good. Yeah, it's very good. You cats, very good. Gathered will be remembered. You can still use Katarina and. <laughs> <laughs> together we get it. I mean, you will be comboing them separately now. You can also use Katarina with Al Kaiser. It will depend on the, the enemy. See the enemy weakness if it's weak to blunt or sub, bring Al Kaiser. If you don't have a need to land more attacks, bring Liz. If you need to buff, bring Anya. But I mean, she will be the first go to character of this combination. Bring her and then someone else. If you have a big roaster that can hit enemy weakness and all. Those situations where you felt like you needed a sixth character. Well, she will fit in those situations. I feel like I will just keep running this. Till we unlock the next. Okay, Azari is keeping anniversary for 35 Saga Celebration. 35 Saga Celebration. What we have in there? Any character I need to focus for a new player? Katarina. Current banners. Ah, Katarina banner also has Mikael. You need a good farmer. Mikael can help you. A uh, new player should always have at least one farmer. Ocelus death banner, sure. Is it close already? Farmer is a character that is meant to be used just to grind the stage. He has no utility for real hard challenges. It's a character without sustain and just a kit designed to keep killing enemies. His pop says, Oh, yeah, I'm probably skipping Leon for that banner sock if I don't have gens. Leon. I feel like they will buff Leon. Just like they buffed Katarina. Katarina went from a 10% damage reduction to the party to a 25%. That was already a big difference. Character that was already good. It's like, ah, she's already good. Let's buff a little to make it even better. Cat is huge now. It will be. JP doesn't have a good list. I mean, their newest one is good, but imagine the difference of you bringing uh, the list that has a Dragon's Blessing and it all being nowhere near as good as the one we use. Nowhere near good. They also like to buff Asuns. They do. Because it's a character that most people love. Sometimes they can say, Oh, I'm not gonna pull for Asuns because they don't need. But then it's a mix of meta and love, and then people will pull entirely.
What does he say? Arado was still using that list in JP. But with the wired up? Oh my gosh, so much clicking again. Don't tell me. Don't tell me, please. Oh man. I really don't have fun with this new flux. There's gonna be Cher Stampede. <laughs> Stampede. <laughs> Cher won't get hockey because he won't be able to use her. Why? Because I don't have. Uh, I won't have Khalid. So it could have been that bad. He was using her in GP. It's because her buff is guard up. I don't know. Their fights are entirely different. No, the new Kihachi is hard to use. She is hard to use. But why would I know how to use her? It has to trigger reaching crit call HP, right? They will probably change that for global. We are dumber. We <laughs> cannot get to a critical level to trigger. <laughs> I mean, I'm joking, of course. Because you are not a true fan. I am a true fan. Of good characters. <laughs> of mechanics. Uh, also saying something. What do you guys think about all the request system? Overall, uh, popularity is a little bit on the decline. Like, this is the first month that we lose subs. Uh, I was losing 16 subs yesterday, but since four people joined it between yesterday and today, over the last 20 days, 16 people unsubbed. And not everyone that quits a game will unsub. I feel like the idea of the request system was nice. Is that something that we discussed at Socrates, that, but making the game a little more auto-able up to a point that it becomes an idle experience sometimes would have made people a little less interested to keep playing i believe request can be fun but it's also a little boring all the clicking also lead me to a burnout but it was uh, the burnout happened because we had like uh two books in two weeks this is the other reason you should not release so many videos in one day people might get annoyed how do we release those remembrance videos? I wanted to finish them to make a selection of all videos inside of one playlist. But man, how do I do it? Content is different than free quest books. Yes. That's why I released a news video for um, review in a different day, New Flux. I was not able to release the first video. Uh, too soon, because we did a live stream, so I only released it at night. I said, no, I'm not gonna release the other one just after. Let let it have a little bit of briefing. I'll just release one big video with chapter markers. But I could not beat the X stage new. So I could not make a video without the X version. Now I can. But I can for three days. Three days ago, I couldn't. I didn't have hard no hardy I got in like five days ago. He's ready to fight uh, since five days ago, so I could not make a big video yet. But now I can. But will I delete everything and just make a big video now? Should I do that? Let's most difficult fights were a good change of pace. Then they left. Yeah, they limited fights as well. You prefer one big video a day than multiple videos. Kevin says, I wish they would let next quest work and just pick any available next quest, especially in the pages. Makes sense. Next is just for the region that you are. Mumu says, I like free quests. It's something to do apart from AK, AF key farming. Yeah, I like that the idea of it. It's permanent. And... Eventually, it gets so easy now to, to level up to 99 that it's really not bad. But I feel like uh, some people may get annoyed by it. It's too much clicking, it's too much traveling, it's too much... Too many stages. The stage. I remember that there was a book where we had like 16 fights inside the book. And I was like, why? 
It's just the same fight over and over and over and over. Why 16 fights? Simplify, okay, you like to keep your character, uh, I mean, the player traveling for stuff. Okay, you can click, but 16 fights. Isn't that too much? It just feels like most people uh, do 99 and books too quickly and then one day the boss. Only the hardcore, louder players do that on day one. There are many people that watch the videos and only do stuff way later. Especially those that play the game more on the weekends. There are plenty of people that only play hard challenge on the weekends. Umu says, I like the puzzle aspect of them. It feels like console game, right? That's the good part of it. I just felt like they, they could decrease the number of fights sometimes. 16 fights was too much. I don't remember the book, but it was the one before this. I mean, the one before, three big books ago, it was Fighter Records. Fighter Records was insane. It was boring. It was the worst book. Ever Summer was okay, but Fighter Records was terrible. Wait, cats are fighting. back um like the books you just need to be tuned yeah that's good global x papaya who was that <laughs> main mac better foons because you said foons i know that you are uh juice mango thank you so much juice mango it, it has to be you right because you always say <laughs> a funny character <laughs> and this funny character is totally papaya papaya mango yeah it was you thank you so much my friend for helping out the channel as always let's send some thanks virtual hugs emojis thank you mac is coming right one day <laughs> one day he will come well i've gotta go practice stack and tournament tomorrow that's nice, does he? Uh, tell us the results on the fighting channel, please. Fighter Records had two good stages for farming, though. Now you just place hard to farm and that's it. Uh, the thing is not about the, the stage that was able to farm. Malice Shadow says problem is that all units minus bosses are way too weak, so leveling skills is hard and even with boots. Makes sense. The altar and match made it much easier for leveling stages and for leveling up skills. Data. But it's just a lot and often changing to another next book. Yeah, I feel like uh, the, the necessity of clicking and clicking and clicking the next part, the next part. And oh, there are 16 stages here. Fights, 16 fights. And then the other has 20 fights. I just wish that it was a little simple. Like, okay, since this there's so much clicking, let's have like just three fights, four fights. All those fights are the same. We don't need 16 fights of the same enemies. There's just three variations. It's either single target or multiple enemies or a special enemy. Just three variations. Why have 16 fights? It's the illusion of content. It's um, like when people create... A... I was talking about this with a friend recently. He was saying that he does not do like... Uh, achievements in a game if it has to be played on hard mode so it doesn't feel like i mean you have to replay the game there's no way to get the achievement if you play just once that's the illusion of content they create it so that you feel like there's more than there is so 16 stages but there's just three variations what does that mean it means that they want you to spend more time doing stuff but why? Do you have fun but beating the same enemy that's full auto? I don't know. But maybe because they lost your attention because now you can do a lot of things on auto. They want you to keep looking on stuff and clicking next. I know it can sound harsh, but that's my opinion and I like to share it with you all. And sadly, uh, global doesn't affect anything. 
uh, anyone that can affect is Japanese players. Because they can say in live streams, they, oh, I don't like that much. Sock says I'm gonna rest here, your shoulder is murdering you. No worries, thanks so much for passing, Socrates. Have a good rest and I'll see you later. We can discuss everything. And please uh, forgive me if I sometimes sound harsh. It's just me. Fighter, okay, I also like bosses in the... I really love the bosses. That's a really nice added content. Especially because they come like three days before the attacks version. That's actually the part I enjoy the most. I really like it, to be honest, all the recent book fights. All of them. Because they all had some special gimmick. I remember the first one being... Uh, Ma... Magellan. It's not Magellan. Magellan is the name of the character that you play with. Uh, what's the name of that guy? The guy with the two big fishes, right? That one was very nice. And I know he was hard. And the start, people wanted to use the uh, key. It was very helpful in the fight. Not totally necessary. But all those fights had some very specific gimmicks. And I like the fights. Uh, I like that they made the game a lot more simple, but not quite all the way they could have done. Yeah, it feels like there's someone with a strong hand still saying, no, keep that on the game, keep that inside, keep that inside. Probably won't go that well. Atlanta Killers frequent this dollar name. Is that the name of a group? You don't need to be the best one, you just have to have fun. Where's the pool's at? Mm, I was super unlucky, Permanent Bennett. Super ultra unlucky. I'm sad. Did four mooches and then I got a thing. Magneto? Magnate. Yeah, Magneto. <laughs> you talk Magneto, I'm watching X-Men and... <laughs> that relates. Magnate. Then after Magnate, what was the other boss? But that's the, mo the most interesting part for me, the hard challenges. I felt like some people hate it. Uh, what I don't like is when you cannot land an attack with a perfect character that just got released. And I know that some of the old ones you start missing. It makes sense so that they can sell the new characters, but a content on release with your characters and you just buff it and they miss that. That's Anger infliction. Galatea. Eh, it was Galatea the second? It was also a very fun boss to fight. But they suddenly change it a lot about hard challenges as well. Like, you have to start the fight with defense boosts or you will die. I believe at start it was a little angering as well because so many fights had to be restarted because they could not uh, balance a fight for turn one damage to be lower. <laughs> Uh, since that enemy would eventually do a lot of damage on you, turn one was hard. That's where Al Kaiser stepped in and used his glory force to decrease damage taken by a lot. But without glory force on turn one, it was so hard to survive sometimes. Water Dragon was the next book boss. Yes, second was Water Dragon. Then Galatea was the third. So I had some fun with these fights. I really do. Then I want us to think outside the box, it's actually very nice. Even if sometimes we have to get more characters. I believe that the biggest change that they did when they shifted the meta once again uh, by the end of the past year was that now you need much more units at your disposal. Like, it's not about having 10 units. There was a time in the game where if we had 10 units, 10 specific units, we could clear like 90 Five percent of the content. Now it's not about that. Even remembrance, one good, one or two good units and trash would win. But now it's not like that anymore. You want to have like thirty useful units. You want to. You feel like you're adding more utility to your roster. Uh, Kevin says I had. I think I had to use four defense uses on Arsenal, but it was fun. Yeah, defense on start. <laughs> <laughs> on turn one, he could still one-shot people with proper rocket. 
I remember using three defense boosts on turn one and a formation that would decrease damage and he still one shot me. <laughs> and then this game dying is death. That totally is death. This is not. There's a scene in Atlanta where they practice together and make each other better. Besides, I'm not planning to win. Most only going to support my roommate that runs the tournament. Oh, he runs the tournament. That's nice, does he? Support him then. Hope you have fun. Hello, Ken Felix. How are you doing? Oh, pretty. He really loves me. Today she's not scratching, so it's okay. But what's your favorite uh, content in the game right now? If Lux says, this is all gashes, most fights are identical and pointless. Ah, yeah, you mean by clicking the next button, right? Yes, they are. They cannot stop that. Even if they automate the system, they still allow uh, give you lots of pointless fights. I remember Brave Frontier. <laughs> I used to like Brave Frontier story arcs. And they released a new chapter that was 20 boring stages in one boss fight. 20 boring stages that took like almost two hours. I think if I was streaming, it was similar somehow. It's just because all the attacks were so laggy. That game was fun because I believe it was like 5 FPS sometimes. <laughs> Up to a point where uh, attacking at the same moment with two characters in the same uh, time frame would spark. And fair band could just subscribe it thanks you will create a spark because they hit the same uh fps it's not fps what's the um they attack on the same uh, time frame up to a point where people would try to calculate the time frame of the attacks and all but it was such a cool story arc <laughs> and when we had new chapters it was like Almost two hours were fighting useless fights and then a boss fight. It was like, whoa, this boss fight. Who played Brave Frontier will totally remember Maxwell. Maxwell boss fight. Uh, it was like Joe and Asper, Gavin, Liz and Candy all using some sorts of defense ups to start and three per turn. And you had Candy even. Candy seems to be made for that fight. Doing fine, just attempted 240 on tower and it was not fun. You mean Spiral? Yes. Kazinsi? Hmm. I did two different squads versus Kazinsi, if you can check in later. Uh, but overall, it's very hard. Very hard. Uh, I think you didn't reply, Neil. Do you think it will be better for me to create new videos now that I have all stages beaten? And delete all the Remembrance videos? I can delete them to remove unnecessary content now that I can defeat all remembrances. Probably was just an X stage. But now, the problem was that they released three updates in the same month. Why did they do that? It was even like. I remember there was two updates and then three. Almost five in a one month period, or 40 days or something, and then three again. Why not one per month? Even if it was harder. Since I was following the, the design of one per run, I kept doing the same thing. This Piper says, hard bosses are usually my favorite part in JRPGs, but this isn't another Eden are the only gotchas I found where you like the hard content. Um, some games have hard content on the type of that you cannot beat in, unless you have the new units all the time can't be creative. I know some gotchas that are like that. The uh, holy address is whole remath tells me I'll reach 35,000 jewels during the life of Sarah Banner, which includes the 9,000 you spent. You're going to PD. At least you have this opportunity. Chaos Piper said they just really rushed out the rest of Remembrance fights. Yes, they did. On JP was not like that. It's like they rushed everything at once. That's why we're not even landing attacks. I think that's a good idea. Let's people play in the future just load one video. I'll think about that then. Just wonder how much people have beaten Kazinsi without Troll.
Kazinsi without Shaw? People with Apollo. But... Why does Kazinsi week 2 again? Frustrating is when some of the Jews for week 2 won't be able to week 1. Banner has been closed. I agree. Malice Shadow says most bosses aren't really that hard challenge to me. They just use cheap mechanics like super high HP or hitting hard. That's what baked in hard. <laughs> Very high HP or cheap mechanics like applying heat ups and defense ups. Those are cheap mechanics. I still have fun somehow, but it's because they got cornered. They needed to do that unless they would just lock themselves. They could not release any type of content where you could just keep using the same damage dealer. In the past, we will only summon for uh, supports all the time because there was one good support every month or two months. There was a uh, difference, but now there's a good support every week. But they want to sell damage dealers. You could wait to and skip more damage dealers in the past. You could say, no, no, it's not the time. You just want to lean, but I skip this and that and that and that and that. And I'll know if you don't have damage. You also cannot win because you get to a point where the enemy is unbeatable. It's just too strong or too resistant. They are cheap mechanics if you think about those. It's only weak to Pierce. Oh, Pierce, I thought it was Heat as well. Pierce, it's Shaw. Who else? Now Sarah will help a little. Zeling is a problem. Use it Apollo, but it took you a lot of her tries. Let's see. Use Piper says I used a Hippo for 240, and then after I got Thaddeus, I did it with Urpina, and he died pretty fast. Urpina with Thaddeus? What changed? Our challenge to me is like Elden Ring, Dark Souls, not gotcha challenges. Oh, but we're talking about real time re response. You know what? Um, of course, we have the gacha aspect in this game, but we still have. Uh, I don't know. Gameplay systems that need to be understood so that you can win in a fight. But, for example, what is a turn based game that is hard? Well, Jimmy Game to see Nocturne is. What else? Persona, somehow. Not all personas, though. Try to remind me of a hard turn based RPG. Well, we have the tactical ones that are hard because they usually have permadeath and damage can be pretty hard, like the Fire Emblems. Hard turn based RPG. What will be the list? Mayor, if nothing else, I'm using. Yeah, he works somehow. Thaddeus gives FTR buff on OD attacks. Oh, yeah. And he also buffs on turn 6 and beyond. And Urpina did much more because of that. How many turns it took you? Jimmy Game Tensei 4 is hard. Atlas games overall are. I remember that Digital Devil Saga is hard. Xeno Saga 2 is hard. When people told me that it's not hard, that I didn't really get the gameplay system. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. It's more about the fights being also artificially longer than it should be. Saga's cut it crazy. Yeah, we're not talking about Saga games. Why? All Saga games. I feel like the easiest Saga game overall is still... I don't know, which is easier, Saga Frontier 1 or Romance in Saga 3? It is not Minstrel Song. Don't want hard turn based game, I play X-Con or Disgaea. This guy can be easily broken though. X-Con, I don't know, I never played it. Saga Frontier 1, I think that is harder than Romance in Saga 3. I feel like Romance in Saga 3 is the easiest one. It really should be the easiest one. All Star games feel pretty hard to me. They are. Saga Frontier 2 is pretty hard as well. 
It's even hard to understand sometimes how to make some skills spark. And the last boss is hard. It's really hard. One of the hardest last bosses in history. Another very hard boss is Ark the Lad last boss. Ark the Lad 2, the first one is not. Anyone here beat it Ark the Lad 2? Anyone here played Ark the Lad 2? Such a hard game in the end. But it's strange because most of the time the game is easy. It's just after you reach a point that it gets harder. Like the secret dungeon is hard and the last boss is hard. It's not even a secret boss, it's the last boss. Almost his Saga Tree last boss is pretty wild. He is. Saga Frontier 1 bosses can be hard if you don't follow the building paths. You don't have spells that recover. Really, the difficulty is adjustable. The thing about the, a lot of RPGs is that you can only heal away damage or just grind away challenge. Yeah, if you can grind and win just by grinding. Uh, but some fights like in Digital Devil Saga, you have to be on level 99 even to start the hard challenge. The thing about Saga from Tree is you have different ways to grow your character. Once in Saga Tree, you have one. There's that too. Once in Saga Tree, is easy to accidentally over level for grind or trying to figure out the game. That's what happened to you. I always have to restart my Saga games. I think Saga Emerald Beyond is going to do bad with all the bigger games coming at the same time. You've beat it, Ark the Lad 2. Did you find it to be hard? I remember that most of my cards got, were getting one shot by the evil one. But I beat it as well, after some retries. I'm curious how they are going to handle a Saga Frontier 2 remake. Man, I... I'm really, really, really excited. Like, uh... Just the idea of having Saga Frontier 2 remake, it's amazing for me. The soundtrack is one of the best ones ever, and some of those characters are pretty nice. I really like Genie and Gustav. Yeah, people call him the GOAT. But it just felt different. It's because I was very young as well, and Gustav felt like a different protagonist as well. He was not the chosen one. He was actually born with a curse of not being the chosen one so what i want from saga frontier 2 remake is to see gustav being able to be used in the end i don't know if they would do that like create a uh, post game content where we can use all the characters that you see along the way because there's so many cool characters like johan johan has many styles here and even uh, she just got a style on JP. Eleanor, Tyler, so many cool characters that I just want them to have a special post uh, game content where you can use them all. Neil says, I don't remember DDS being hard except for the optional stuff. Mm, optional stuff is hard. Two or three hard fights, but even still manageable. The whole game as a base is not that hard, yes, besides two or three bosses. But sometimes it's like that. We, we, we are um, uh, very used to RPGs, so art is still dif difficult to explain. Kevin says, it was so unique even though it was really hard at the time. I played it again last year, finally understood the dwelling. It's sort of really hard to see the remake, honestly. You're sort of ready to see. I really want to see it as well. Funny that Saga Frontier 2 Final Boss might as well be a remix of Romance in Saga 2 Final Boss. But the thing was that I will never uh, drop one of my characters to make the boss easier, and that was what made it so hard. I feel like the audience for Emerald Beyond is separate from the audience for an auto popular RPG 7 century. Yeah, yeah, and they mostly know that, although it seems like Emerald Beyond is much more approachable. I saw some reviewers about the demo saying that the game is not as bad, but some people played for 30 minutes before they made the review, and I was like, oh, you can't do that. You fully rushed the demo. I played the demo for like 12 hours. You don't know much about the game yet. Play a little more. 
but sometimes people just have too many games to play and they rush. I'm definitely excited for Saga Frontier 2 and Emerald Beyond. It's because of my nostalgia as well. But Emerald Beyond looks like the game that you have so much possibilities that you want to make that perfect squad. Like, if you can get Fire Emperor in the game, using him as your main character and then a I don't know, like March or I don't know. You can make so many fun squads. It's a game that Duck will probably love because you can make a cat and a bird and <laughs> the situations where the, you have crazy characters in the squad. I kind of like that idea. Namely, says Stellar Blade has the best physics. <laughs> I'm not against Stellar Blade. Like, I was never against, you know, uh, Bayonetta or Nier. I find it. Good that we have the option to choose the games that we want to play. My main game this month will be Stellar Blade and Euden Chronicle. Euden Chronicle is going to release so close to Emerald Beyond. 30 minutes is still the tutorial for most RPGs. Yes. And I saw a YouTuber saying that I felt like it was not enough. The perception may be totally different, especially when you learn that you cannot heal. You don't learn that in 40 minutes. Story is the most important to you, and so far I feel like Emerald Beyond is a bit of a mess. Yeah, it feels more like it goes to a little more silly storyline. It's okay to have silly storylines. I love Shadow Hearts, and it's so silly super ultra silly but it also had some very uh, strong moments you know i love shadow, shadow hearts so i also like silly stuff <laughs> joaquin is one of my favorite characters of all time it's just too fun honestly old retro rpgs are ogre battle 64 and seven saga whoa a friend of mine loves seven saga I love Ogre Battle, but I never finished Ogre Battle 64. Just Statics Ogre and the original Ogre Battle. It was hard to find Ogre Battle 64. I just never emulated it. I did emulate it, but... I never did play 64 games emulated too much. Just tested a little bit. I need to play it again. Especially because of Unicorn Overlord. But for story... What's the best game you play for story, New Flux? The best game you ever played that had a good story. I don't know what will be the first one for me, but probably Suikoden 2 and Shadow Hearts 2. But I really love the first Grandia as well. But it was because I played as a kid. If I play it as a grown-up, I don't think that will have the same impact. It was mostly because it dealt with um, insecurity. A lot of insecurity. Yeah, and still has the anime plot that you are uh, a young person having to stand up and fight the evil. But I don't know, there was some charm in that game. It's like Lunar has, it's the same devs. Especially Lunar 2. I like Lunar 2 much more than Lunar 1. For you, it was Xenoblade 2. Oh man, Xenoblade 2, I never played that one for more than two hours. The Xenoblade as a whole is just so good. It's gold. Xenoblade 3 I played. Never finish it, man. Never finish it. I need to finish Xenoblade. I was having so much fun, but then I lost um, attention. Red of Fire and Lunar 2. Dino Saga. Dino Saga 3 made me cry, man. Really did. Yeah. I told this before in other live streams, but it made me cry. I really uh, like the characters in that game. Apart from Momo. <laughs> Apart from Momo. Even Momo tries to be humanized in the end, but... It just felt like they felt like... Um, real in a different world, of course. It's just a dystopian world, but... They just didn't feel like uh, empty stuff. There are some games where a character just has a base level of creation, like... Ah, this character is rude. 
point. That's it. He's rude. Nothing else to it. Write a storyline and just alter all the lines to be rude. That's the character. <laughs> but Zeno Saga and Zeno Blade, by extension, in any game that you have Tetsuya Takahashi, he really knows how to create characters. Well, sometimes they are a little shallow as well, but I don't know. I still love them. No, all of them are perfect. Like some people criticize Xenoblade 1 because sh um, Brian is just a niche, niche no, uh, kind of a. Um, it's the correct word for that. A trope character. But I don't care. I really love Ryan. It feels like the, the type of brother I wanted to have. <laughs> Even if it's a trope. You don't make new games with the same depth as old school RPGs. I feel like we should not have this type of feeling because Xenoblade is here to prove you wrong. But there's no many others. <laughs> Sort of like that Emerald Beyond story was especially Diva to the Witches section. It was all weird, but I definitely liked it. Yeah, I never played Saga games because of story, besides Saga Frontier 2. Saga Frontier 1 is also terrible for a story. This is fact. I feel like The Last Remnant has some interesting story. It was supposed to be a Saga game. I still remember the scene where. Uh, one of the main characters have a very intense fight. If you know what I mean, you will remember. It's like the end of the first CD in the Xbox version. The PC version is not CD based, but it was such a very cool moment as well. Such a very cool character. Anyone here play The Last Remnant? It's such a saga game on base levels. Art as well, using some stuff from Saga Frontier 2. Mess it up with some stuff from. I don't know, Saga Frontier 1. It kind of is a mix of Saga Frontier games. That's why they said that it was supposed to be called Saga Frontier 3. And it says, I'm having such a fun to play Unicorn Overlord. This very should be your next game to stream. But I did stream Unicorn. I was having so much fun, but I never found enough time to play that again. Man, I need to play it to the end. I play Last Remnant a lot, but hardly remember anything from it. I wish I had time to replay. Uh, do you remember that this character I'm talking? That one that has a white and green collar. I don't want to talk about what happens because that will be spoiler. I just think of Saga as a world building for a sick combat system. I feel like it's kind of like when you open a book and there's uh, and you are an outsider. Some games want you to be part of the game, like you are the main protagonist. Or you get inside the game. I don't feel like I'm getting inside Saga games. I just feel like I'm um, someone from the outside opening a book where there's so many descriptions that are extremely wild. Like, and there's this guy that he's the Charm Lord. You see this book, but why call him the Charm Lord? No, because I want to explain in details because he charms people and such. Because in books, they overly explain stuff, right? So I get this feeling that it would be very nice as a visual novel for JP players, but also as a book that is very um, dreamy about. That's the interesting point about Saga. They create interesting words. They do. They know how to create words. They just don't know how to create a storyline. Interesting characters, but very basic uh, plot. If there is a plot, even. But I like that they know how to build a world. That all words from romancing saga games or saga games and all uh, are interesting. Characters are visually interesting as well. That's why Tomomi Kobayashi deserves some praise. Characters look different. They don't feel like they are the same thing over and over. So, uh, you, you see a character in, like... Here, it looks like Slash. And... Oh, Julian still looks like a normal protagonist. But Kali doesn't. So the characters are interesting. Saga Frontier has too many interesting characters. But that's also a good one for story. But overall, it, for me, it looks like they know how to build characters, they know how to build worlds, they know how to... Uh, create diversity especially, but they just don't know how to build a story around all of that. 
still better than, you know, the Legend of Legacy. Legend of Legacy is such a bad game that took inspiration from Saga. Just want to play for the gameplay, it's okay, but don't try anything more than that. If you include known JRPGs in Kotor for me. I never played Kotor. I feel like there's one friend of mine that must have played. I was never that big of a Star Wars fan until I finally watched it. It took me more time to watch than normal. Carrots and enemy designs are amazing, Saga, yeah. And the credit goes to the Tomomi Kamayashi. I just... Uh, last game story-wise for you will be Dragon Age or Origins. I play a little bit of Dragon Age, but I played more of Mass Effect and I really like it, Mass Effect. I have to come to see it's just being all the ingredients are there, but it's very open-ended. It's like a D&D campaign. And they got inspiration from D&D. They did. Oh man, I couldn't do a Legend of Legacy much. That one was important. Yeah. I still hate the... Hate. I fully dislike the character art in both Legend of Legacy and Audience Alive. Characters feel like they are soulless um, dolls. If you don't like the characters, it's so hard, man. I feel like in RPGs, it's more important to relate to the character than to relate to the story. What do you think? Is it most important to relate to the character? Because you want to see the journey of the character or the overall storyline? Around the character. Sometimes the story is all about the main character. Sometimes it's about the world. But I really believe that you need to like the protagonist. Or at least the character that you play with. Well, oh, maybe you didn't like Titus or Titus. I don't even know how to spell his name. But you like it, I don't know, some of the other characters. Or you like the world building, something like that. It's me, is here, welcome. I just downloaded the game a few days ago and I wanna just thank you for all the guides you have for me a lot, thank you very much. No worries, thank you so much for saying that. Yeah. Glad to help. Good to see you here and if you need extra help, join our Discord server. We have lots of amazing people and they can reply to you instantly if you need help. Most gamers will probably say Final Fantasy VII Old One was the best story game or Dragon Quest VI. Mm, I don't agree with that at all. I felt like after Final Fantasy VI, it was hard to top that. And Final Fantasy VI and X have a very dreamy storyline. Like, everything related to Cloud displeased me because of that old psychological stuff situation. It didn't felt real. But of course, there's a lot of genetic stuff on Final Fantasy VII, but... I really just like that idea of him being someone else. I don't know, it's too dreamy, like Kingdom Hearts stuff. It's even the same creator. It's all a dream. Final Fantasy VIII still has that, Final Fantasy X still has that. Messing up with dreams, with people thinking they are something else. I don't know why it became such a constant uh, plotline in Final Fantasy games. That's why I like Final Fantasy VI and IX, they don't have that. Final Fantasy VI is nothing about dreams or impersonations. And 9 is not as well. Star is what enables character development, so I don't think you can separate the two. Some could say that... Theoretically, they could like more Sora than Kingdom Hearts storyline. Believe it or not, I believe that can happen. Or some people may like Ryu from Breath of Fire, but don't really like the storyline. I know that it makes sense what you're saying, but I still believe that what I said can happen. I don't really get can get behind that art. I have honestly alive too, but I haven't played yet, probably for that reason. Me, I'm not the only one. Original Final Fantasy VII story was such a mess. You go back to it now. Yeah, I feel like the character. Ah, uh, Final Fantasy VII is a a point where I 
kind of have the same opinion, Neo. I really like Barret. I really like Tifa as well. Even Aerith. I don't like Cloud. Never like it. And Barret's one of my fave characters. Like I said, it was the first time I saw a black guy being awesome in the presentation. I know uh, it does not relate to me in the same way that it can relate to some other people, but I just found that... Man, they made this character just look so cool, and he's awesome. And he's just not the standard guy with this word, you know? <laughs> he's my favorite character from Final Fantasy VII, it's not Tifa. You know, Hearts had a story. Had a dream. <laughs> I had a dream. You had. You don't have. You had, because you don't even know if it was in the past. <laughs> So, um, so that I hate, hate Cloud, I just don't think that he's interesting. Maybe because he's also kind of a silent protagonist most of the time. And I remember that people corrected me because I thought that he was full silent mode. See, he had the flashbacks and such. But he's not. It's just that I don't remember him talking in the game at all. I didn't play the remake game. Okay. I will eventually. I feel like it's still a worth experience. Final Fantasy VII has a reason to be one of the favorite ones. It's not mine, but I understand why it's uh, the favorite game for many people. There's probably some nostalgia on me thinking that Six is the best one, because it was one of my first RPGs, but it was also because of the game playing with the idea that won't win it always. That shit can happen. Like, the world can get destroyed and you won't save. <laughs> Talking about uh, Dragon Quest, uh, Malice Shadows, I play it, that one where you grow up, and it play that in Japanese and it was still an amazing game. I didn't know what I was doing, but it didn't matter. Never finished the game as well. <laughs> I had the original cartridge. There was this store where they had some JP games, and I think I gave a Bomberman 4 and 20 bucks to get a Dragon Quest. No one wanted that game. A lot of people like Final Fantasy 7 because of Sephiroth too. Yeah, he's cool. He is. He was um, the perfect representation of a menace. I feel like there, there was a lot of things in his design that works. Long hair, very long sword as well, because Cloud already uses a busted sword that's big and giant. How could you make someone that was also feeling a menace, that was also super strong? They gave him longer hair, very long sword, and his floats are amazing as well. I feel like he has a perfect design somehow. When he appears on CGI, it's always cool. I feel like that he's one of the best things from Final Fantasy VII. After Barret, of course. It's Barret and Sephiroth. And Tifa. Tifa is fun, man. Some people may not like Tifa because they are like, Oh, I'm Tinerith. Whatever, man. Like Boat. <laughs> Why do you have to choose a side? And it's not because of her looks. She's a pretty cool character. She was always a pretty cool character. Some people like Tifa because of two different things. <laughs> two big reasons. No, she's a cool character. She's a complete character. Uh, also, speaking about games where you may uh, like the character more than storyline, or maybe the reverse, usually mm, the best representation of a character that is not that great, but the game is good, why would that be? But talking about the main protagonist only. I wonder. Yeah, besides Cloud. Don't remember much. I'll have to stop and think. 
Oh, we got to uh, round number 13. This will unlock another stage. Well, this would take a lot of time to reach the, the end. I'll try to unlock all stages and go for a live stream again tomorrow. Try to do pools again, see if I can get Katarina. But I feel like I will be stopping the stream because we are already past midnight. It was very nice to have this talk with you all. I always like to talk about all stuff when we are grinding, especially because what else can you do? Like we were talking, grind is boring usually, so we should talk about all this stuff. And then Simon says Final Fantasy VII story and dialogues were such a deception after Final Fantasy VI. I agree. So guys, I just want to thank you all for being here. And as always, if you want to support the channel, we have the links here in the description. If you can, please click the like button, certainly helps the channel grow as well. And I hope to see you soon on the next video or live stream. Goodbye, have you all a good weekend. And later. Ah, 997 was saying, man, only Final Fantasy 6 and Xeno Gears were this high on those two levels. The Xeno Gears made me cry as well. Let me just read all the other messages. Thank you, Sharon. Good night. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Ishi Joe Masaki. Goodbye, copy. Goodbye, good night, New Flux. Good night, everyone else that was here. Madison Shells, Peter, Eos Piper. It's me. 99 Stamina. All your Jora. Who else? Kent Felix, Mario Harji, Does a Beard that already left, Socrates, Moo Moo, Kevin, Alif, you all guys rock. See you later. Good night, Paulson.